ready? It's going to be a very rough and ready video today because um, I'm going to upload it straight from my phone without editing. Um, going for a spin in the latest iteration of Jamie's Beetle. Uh, Jamie, what's changed? New firmware. New firmware. So we're on the, la the latest iteration now? Very much, yeah. Latest iteration of the Open Inverter firmware. So this is still the motor slash... Whoa, hello! <laughs> Bloody hell! It's a lot different, eh? It's a lot different. So this is still the little front motor oh, yeah. generator from the Outlander Fev but with all of the improvements that have been made to firmware um, thanks to the introduction of modelling. Um, Pete. Pete, thank you Pete. Um, this, is, this is real world demonstration of the benefits of your genius. Um, God it feels so smooth as well. Once you get to going about 30, it's, it's pretty decent. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm in first gear. I just leave it in first. Wow. Pretty much. See, mine's not geared like that. I wouldn't. I can't just sit in first. I'm not sure how much the gearbox is going to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll do 60 mile an hour in first. Let's be honest. They're not expensive for these. Though. No. Even if they are a pain to change. Right. Let me see if I can flick the camera around. And I've got a bit of a creak going on. Yeah, that's... Oh, hello police. Oh, I so, oh, oh, can't quite get in and see that, but... Ah, oh, you get a proper shove in the back. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Your, your motor might be uh, quite a surprise. Yeah, I mean, crikey. So I've driven over here in my petrol wagon, since mine's still off the road, um, which has got the larger Outlander motor in it. Well, my, my real project's got the larger Outlander motor in it. Same inverter as Jamie, which is the Prius Gen 3. Same control board, which is the EV BMW uh, Damien board. The rev, rev, you've, got both, you've got the Rev C as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm hoping... Flipping heck. Mine's going to be quite dramatic. And bear in mind, <laughs> mine was already pretty dramatic after the last upgrades before I took it off the road, before I cooked the bearing. Wow. Happy with that, mate. I'm not surprised. So remind us, you've got, what batteries have you got in here? Two, at the moment, two Golf GTE battery packs. So what's that, 17 kilowatt hours total? 17. 17. Yeah. About 55 mile range, probably 60 if I wanted to push it. If you did want it to not make the most of that <laughs> firmware. Well, yeah, this is, the inverter gets pretty warm like this as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, we still haven't really cured that. I, I don't think. You think it's I'm all right? I not bother, really. It's no, never cuts out now. No, well. I think if, from a dead stop, if I just stomp on it, it still cuts out. Once, once um, rolling a little bit, I can, I can just bury it. Wow. Love <laughs> to cure that creak though. Yeah, what is that? Is that is that just coming from the dash? I don't know. Honestly, right? I mean, this is <laughs> this is proof that on a very small budget, you can build a very capable EV now with the open inverter firmware. Yeah, kind of whatever board you're running, really. But I mean, these motors are tiny, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, really motor light. and cheap as well. Um, I think that I think well, they might get more expensive now. People oh. know what you can do with them. If anyone wants to buy one, <laughs> Jamie's got a spare. I've got a spare. I'm, keep, I'm keeping it as a spare. You're keeping it as a spare in case you destroy this one. Yeah. Although all, all, all the fittings are different on that one, aren't they? Yeah, but the status. Oh, uh, okay. Just swap so it out. If I melt this, he got you. Just swap it in. Gotcha. See, so I've got two rear motors now, so I might get rid of mine. So, yeah, if you want to build a really capable EV really cheaply, um, get yourself a Prius Gen 3 inverter, a Outlander front motor or generator, and uh, stick it in anything really, because there's enough power there to make just about anything usable. Yeah, there you go. Random short video. Um, I'll stick this up. I might stick another one up today, we'll see. 
got another little uh, EV DIY EV driving experience to come later today with a bit of luck. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.